Hi, I'm Colette Lohr. Recently, the rover drove by an outcrop called Shaler, where we used Curiosity's chemistry and camera, or ChemCam instrument, and mast camera to look at the rock's composition and observe its layering. Then from Shaler, we drove another 50 meters or so, and we descended roughly half a meter into a location called Yellowknife Bay, making science observations along the way. The team is now searching in earnest for a suitable rock for our first drill activity after the holidays. This has been a really exciting time for the team because we've started to do what we call discovery-driven planning. And this is when we, in a sense, hand the rover keys to the science team. In the early part of any mission, much of what the rover does is pre-scripted as we kind of perform checkouts and do first-time activities. But in recent SOLs, or Martian days, the science team has really had more freedom to send the rover where the science takes them. These days, the team's busy preparing to preload the rover with 11 SOLs of activity over the course of two Earth days. And this is going to allow us to spend the holidays with our friends and families. This capability will come in handy when we experience solar conjunction coming up in April. This is where the sun positions itself between the Earth and Mars, and that's going to interrupt our ability to communicate with Curiosity for upwards of two weeks. Curiosity is expected to drive another 30 meters to a location the team has informally dubbed as Grandma's house. This is where she'll spend the holidays acquiring a 360 degree panorama from within Yellowknife Bay. A small team will still be on hand working during this period to monitor Curiosity's health. On behalf of the Mars Science Laboratory mission, we